What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and superhero hat and welcome to Weapons Explained here on the Modern Ninja. The series where you learn more about some of the most famous weapons out there and a little bit about some weapons that you've never heard of. This is honestly going to be the latter of those two options. But this channel is literally called the Modern Ninja. So if I didn't talk about the Ninjato sword at least once on this channel, I'd be doing you a huge disservice. However, before we get into the full video, as I'm sure a lot of you veterans to my channel will know, we got to roll that intro. While I have your attention, I just want to let you guys know, if you have a weapon you want me to go over or review or anything like that, leave me suggestions down in the comments because I love reading your comments. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the notification squad so that you never miss a video in the future. So as the name may infer, these blades are allegedly the preferred weapon of the shinobi or ninja of feudal Japan, and now practiced by modern day ninjutsu martial artists. Historically, there is little evidence for the existence of the katana-like short sword before the 20th century. However, we won't let a silly thing like proof stop us. You can't handle the truth! Some historians believe that the lack of evidence is actually due to the fact that ninjas forged their own blades by hand, meaning there was no one trading or selling them to people outside the shinobi groups or even inside the shinobi groups. And each blade may have been slightly different, making it hard to connect any blades we already have to that of the ninjato. I really hope I'm pronouncing that word right, by the way. However, the ninjoto is typically depicted as being a short sword with a straight blade and a square guard, usually reaching no more than 23 inches in length or 60 centimeters for you heathens. Relax, relax, I'm just, it's just a joke. For legal reasons, that's a joke. This means that they are typically shorter than your average katana, but they are used in a nearly identical manner, but with lots of other uses added on top because, you know, we're dealing with ninjas. Books and other written materials have shown that practitioners would use thrust and fencing style techniques when fighting. They would also use a reverse grip and several fast draw techniques that center around drawing the sword and cutting in the same motion to be used as both a defense and offensive action. Meaning they would draw their blade to block just like they would draw their blade to strike. Even the scabbard had a variety of uses such as the respiration pipe while underwater, so that the ninja could stick the edge of the pipe out of the water and breathe while staying submerged and hidden from any enemies. It was also used to enhance sound waves so that a ninja could overhear conversations. There. I got a pretty good look at you. Because more often than not, ninjas were used to spy on people and gain information rather than uh, battle, you know, other enemies. Battling was typically a last resort. The scabbard is also said to be much larger than the blade needed in order to hide various objects such as sand or other particles to blind pursuers or poisons to tip the blade in. Being able to dip your sword back into a reservoir of poison allowed you to use multiple poisonous strikes on enemies for a long period of time as opposed to just one or two slices until the poison rubs or falls off. Now if you are looking for one of these mythical blades to own for your own uh, collection or armory or whatever you're collecting blades for, check out the links down in the description. I will put the, as many links that I can find if I can find any because this sword is so unique. I suggest for, you know, historical accuracy creating your own if you can go into a black a nearby blacksmith or paying a nearby blacksmith to make your own from scratch but you know if you can't do that like most people can't i'll leave links down in the description below and if you want to see more videos like this just like i said below don't forget to like and subscribe hitting the notification bell so you never miss a single time that i post because i post a variety of different types of content and you might like some of them so definitely check it out I'd love for you to stick around and you know it's free so why not but until next time my name's DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out